We're using the 1520A pattern. The first thing we're going to do is cut out the pattern. You want to make sure you cut along the size that you want because this shit is confusing. You also want to make sure you cut out the notches so they match up later. So you want to pin the pattern onto the fabric and you want the fabric to be folded in half so you get two pieces. Here we're doing the back of the legs. Now it's time to cut that shit out. Make sure you don't pull the fabric so it doesn't fuck it up. So now we want to do what we did to the back to the front. So we got to pin the pattern to the fabric first. Now you want to cut it out and you can see here that I'm cutting out the little notches on the side. This is important for later. And the most important step is to make sure your cat fucks with your shit all the time. The next thing to do is to match a front piece and a back piece together at the inseam. That's the middle of the leg and then you want to pin it. Now sew, 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 sew! All the way from the top to the bottom. Now you want to press the seams open with your iron. Here we're matching up the crotch seams and we're going to make sure it's perfectly even and then we're going to pin it. Now it's time to sew, sew, sew again. Lots of sewing. Now you want to line the top pieces and the back pieces together and you want to make sure the notches or the little triangles are lined up and then pin it all the way down the sides. You guessed it, it's time to sew again! Now we measured one and a half inches for the waist casing. This is where the elastic will go. You want to make sure you iron that down and make sure it's even all around. Then we folded a fourth of an inch under and ironed that down. It's time to sew again. So now to get the elastic through the casing, you're going to put a safety pin in the end and you'll be able to bridge it through. So here you can see that I'm easing the safety pin and the elastic through the casing. So now you're going to sew over the seams in the waistband so the elastic can't move. Finally, you want to cuff them to the correct length, make sure they're even all around, and then sew them shut. 